Hi guys, welcome back to the outfit. If you're not familiar with the channel, my name is Ange, my partner Chris and I, we're traveling around Australia full time. It's been 10 months now. We are both certified personal trainers and hugely passionate by fitness. So it made sense that one of our goals this year was to stay fit on the road. If you're familiar with our vlogs, you would have seen a few tips and workouts. There was a few requests on making some separate videos with more workouts and tips and inspiration for you to be able to do the same if you travel full time. So today I'll be sharing a beach glute workout which has been requested by a few people. So this workout is for the woman watching and it will be a beginner's workout. So let's get started. All right, so this is all the piece of equipment that we carry with us on the road. We've got two kettlebells, a sandbag, and I've got three resistant band, which is probably the fitness equipment I use the most. So I've got three of them, one being a strong one, a medium one, and an easier version in terms of strength. They are great to carry on the road. They are very light, compact. They don't take any room in a car and they are as well affordable. So great equipment to have on the road with you. So today for this beginner's workout, feel free to have this kind of like plastic resistant band, which is really good for beginners. I'll be just using the medium one just because I'm quite used to this one. And we're gonna start with the glute warm up and activation, just to make sure to get this glute firing just before your workout. So I'll show you four exercises that you can do before to get started. All right, so this workout, just to be clear, is not a strength workout. It's mostly on high reps, so building muscle. There is no as well high impact exercise. Everything's low impact, so perfect for beginners. Feel free to adjust the number of reps that I'm doing. I'm giving you some guidelines to make sure to adjust them to your level. So now we're gonna start with our glute activation warm up. We've got some glute bridge, some glute abduction, some side leg incline, and some crab rock. So for each exercise, you want to do around 12 to 15 reps, and we start with a glute bridge. So what you want to do is to make sure to keep your knees out during the whole movement to keep that tension in the glutes. Once you've completed your 12 to 15 reps, we do the hip abduction. Push and keep the knees out. This will burn a lot on the side of your glutes. Straight into exercise number three. Just go comfortable on your side. And here you want to have your heels on top of each other. Keep your bend just above your knees and you want to make sure to push the knee as well towards the sky. So you want nice and controlled. You don't want to do it too fast. You want it, you want that tension. At the top, it's almost like you want to pause it for like a second. Make sure you don't twist. Nice position here. So again, 12 to 15 reps on each side. And a final exercise is a crab walk. So you want to have the resistant band just above your knees and make sure again, keep that tension with your knees out during the whole movement. So we'll go five on the left, five on the right and repeat three times. I like as well to slightly bend and just really control the movement. Keep the knees out. All right, so we finished with our glute activation warm up. You should really feel it. If you don't feel it in your glutes already, like a bit burning, you can increase number of reps or do this ticket another time. So another piece of equipment that is really handy to have on the road and I swear by is a sand bag. There are four pockets inside that you fill individually with sand so you can adjust the weight to your level which is a great bonus. All right so straight into second number one we'll do 12 deadlift with a sand bag and 12 split stands single leg deadlift with a kettlebell. So we've got different way to hold the sand bag I like to use these handles for the deadlift. So you want to make sure to keep a flat back and neutral spine and push your glutes behind. All right, so you want your left leg at the back. You want to slightly bend your knees and we're gonna hinge forward. 
you don't want to go too deep otherwise you won't be able to keep a nice flat back here and what you want to feel is your hamstring and your glutes on the right side if the kettlebell is a bit too hard you can as well do it body weight and same movement All right, so that's ticket number one. So you repeat that three times. All right, straight into circuit number two. We'll do 15 glute bridge, similar as we did on the warm up, but this time with the sandbag, and 12 single leg glute bridge. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure to keep our heels on the floor and push through the heels. just to make sure we're targeting the hamstrings and the glutes a little bit more. And again, we make sure to not get our knees in, we want them out. Keep them nice and stable. So you can have your hands on the side or otherwise at the top as well. It doesn't really matter. Just do what feels comfortable for you. I'm gonna demonstrate the single leg glute bridge it might be a bit too hard at first, so you can remove some sand pockets, otherwise as well do it body weight. So I'm just going to show you without the sand back so that you can see perfectly the movement. So we're going to start with this leg. So it's essentially the same movement, but you're just removing one leg. So we've got way more glute activation in one glute at a time. So we do 12 and then we swap. We'll do a little finisher with a 20 second isometric hold at the top. So we're gonna get the same back again and we're just gonna go back at the top and just hold for 20 seconds. Push on the heels just to get that extra burn. If 20 seconds is too much, just do 10. And then with time you can increase the number of seconds. All right, so that's second number two done. You repeat that three times. Final circuit will be mostly targeting the quads and the glutes still. So I'll be demonstrating with both the kettlebell and the sandbag just to show you the variation. So um, I've got a 12 kilo kettlebell, which may be a little bit too much for a beginner's workout. So feel free to use like a lighter one or even body weight if you want. So we're gonna do 12 squats to reverse lunges. Make sure to engage your core, squeeze the glutes, squat. It requires a little bit of coordination, but from the squat you want to go reverse lunge. So one leg at a time. So on the sand it is a little bit harder because it's uneven ground, so make sure to take your time. Now with the sandbag, we want it on the back. It might feel a bit weird if you're not used to a barbell, but it's essentially the same system. So with the sandbag, you should feel it a bit more on your glutes, whereas with the kettlebell at the front, it was mostly quite focused. So same movement. You can keep your elbows at the front like so. Squat. To reverse lunge. <laughs> All right, and just body weight. And for body weight, I find that having my hands at the front really helps with balance. So squat. And here you can use as well your arms just to give you a bit more stability. So this is second number three, and you repeat that three times. So we are almost done, but for all of my workouts, I always have a little finisher just to get that extra burn. So for today's workout, I'm going to use again my medium resistant band and we're going to do some glutes kickback. All right, so this as well requires a little bit of balance. If you are struggling with balance, you can maybe hold to like a chair or anything else. Otherwise, make sure to have even ground. And what we want to do is we don't want to kick just straight behind us. We want to kick slightly on an angle so that we've got that tension on the glutes. So we're gonna do 20 reps on each leg. 
and we want it nice and controlled. So you can slightly bend your knees. So we don't want this. We want to make sure to engage the core, slightly bend and push. All right, change legs. All right, and we are done. So I hope this workout was useful. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make an advanced foot workout or if you want any abs workout, high intensity, upper body. I've got many ideas. So I would love to hear your suggestions and what will be useful to you. In the meantime, if you've got any question about this workout, please let me know as well. I hope you like it. Please make sure to like it, subscribe and share to your friends. And I'll see you next time.